All right, snap back with some more Diablo 2 Eastern Sun. Uh, so we woke up. This is the next morning. We got to hell difficulty last night. We woke up. We rendered a video and we tried hell. And hell is not really any problem. If we go to life, uh, we're just gonna put all of our points into life from now on. And then if we go to skill trees, maybe we could put them just into Valkyrie. If Valkyrie actually really helps out. Maybe do attack rating. And then maybe two dots of death. And then the other four okay. points. Maybe two damage reduction. So I think that's what you're supposed to be working on at this point. You need to get a 130% damage reduction. Hello. Considering we only got a 27% damage reduction, that's not too good. And we only got 17% dot. I think we must have respessed last night. Because uh, this would be your main skill, Inner Sight. Physical resistance, negative 33%. Defense, negative 62%. So we still have a 100% faster run walk. My rope, good day. We did uh, pretty much go through the things. You could uh, resurrect your mercenary if you want, but uh, she seemed to die pretty quickly. Oh, so we didn't do a gearing episode. The only thing that we did was that we had this uh, tegulated mail, right? We switched it for this death scarred. Because with this, our resistance were a bit low. We had the uh, plus 16 resistance forge on this thing. So then we found this uh, unique tegulated mail, gave like uh, all resistances, and then we transferred the forge to here. So we just put 16 resistance on here, and then it's just that uh, poison, poison resistance rune. Yeah, right after we forged it, we just pretty much put that armor on, and then we were basically ready for hell difficulty. So as long as we got uh, maximum resistances, we should be pretty good. We just needed some poison, so we had a Yo rune, which gave poison resistance in the armor. So now it's like uh, 75 all resistance, poison resistance, 110, plus 10% uh, to our maximum resistance. That's pretty much all the armor does. Has a lot of defense. But now our resistances are maximum, above maximum, 10% above maximum. So if we throw this in here, that was the only change we made. So you could stay on the, you could go to normal cows, you could farm materials, you could forge your gear, you could go to nightmare cows, farm cows, get a nightmare gear. We're still only in a regular gear. <clears throat> so we were thinking about transferring these boots over. Although the, the set uh, gives us too much of a benefit. It gives us the all resistance 20 damage reduced by 15%. If we take this off, then we would lose a bunch of damage reduction. Oh, we don't want to lose all of our resistances? Hmm. So later, if we find a better gloves and belt, we could actually take off this set. And maybe we could find a better helmet or something. But this is still that uh, pike, the normal difficulty pike. So we didn't even upgrade the pike. The pike is still the same level 28 one. All the items are the same. Maybe we forged, we forged this thing. I think we forged it in the video. And then we just been going through here. So maybe we'll go through act one a bit. I think we're just at Ondario almost. Did we get the waypoint? No, we were just at the inner cloister then. Is there a portal here? Catacombs level two. So we must be in the catacombs level two. We did go to the dark wood. We talked to Ikara, she will identify the scroll. So let's go save Kane. Well, if we save Kane, then we won't know where the portal leads to. Catacombs 2. So we just uh, entered the level 2. Let's just find the waypoint here. So if we enchant our Valkyrie's maximum level, so Valkyrie's uh, living pretty good, you're gonna wanna keep your Valkyrie up. And uh, the experience has been coming in really quick, right? There's like a physical resist, you're going to want to just run by them. And if you want to cast your inner sight, it'll lower their defense and their physical resistance. So these things are immune to physical. Later, later you can kill those things. All you have to do is use that uh, inner sight ability, then you can kill them. We just don't do enough uh, damage to, we just don't do enough damage to really surpass their physical resistance. Later we will. <coughs> so you could gamble for the lance, get the set lance. 
I think we got the one set item. We did get a few items, we didn't identify them yet. <clears throat> but there's the way to these stairs, if we can just find the waypoint. So this is just on a player's one stell, there's no reason to go higher than player's one. As long as you're here, you're at least uh, farming the hell difficulty items, and you're getting the better uh, gem drops. So uh, higher, higher quality gems will drop on the hell. You can kill guys if you want. I mean, that's how you get a little bit of uh, experience along the way. It's just the uh, skeletons, you can't steal life from them. Just those specters you don't know. So, all that was over in that direction was the stairs. Ah, now you're probably trying to feed Ontario. It's just before in Ontario, we were always playing on uh, hardcore. We were playing the boys on. So we were always worried about getting hit. Now that we're playing this, this actually uh, shows shows how strong the enemies are. Shows how strong your character is compared to the enemies. Because uh, you're allowing them to hit you. So here's the waypoint. If we go to the stony field, how far away is that thing? We can save Deckard Kane later. If we don't save Deckard Kane, does that help uh, quest bug him? I have to figure out, but here's the catacombs level 3. So if we enchant, maybe this will just be doing act 2 or act 1. These things should have no problem with. Everything gives you uh, so much experience to level 70, 72, 5 or something. If you were stuck in a nightmare or normal just doing cows all the time, you would have been doing cows all day. You'd have uh, got a bunch of items. Those guys are immune to physical, so we could safely run past those guys. We just want to get to Andario and get to Act 2. These the stairs? Nope. So if you cast this ability, it removes their immune to physical, but they still have a really, really high physical resistance, so you still can't do too much damage. Uh, you just need a better than a normal, normal difficulty weapon, normal difficulty pike. So you could go to Nightmare, you could gamble for the Lance. The Lance would uh, increase your damage considerably, actually. What help out with uh, hell so much? Maybe we'll find a weapon though, right? If you're in hell difficulty, if you're killing guys, they have the chance to uh, buy the item, or they have a chance to drop the items that you need. So we could uh, try and Ariel. <coughs> try and Ariel in hell difficulty. Generally, the melee, melee Amazon seems to be uh, so much better than the Boazon. So considering this, and I don't shouldn't be any problem with this, she just does a crazy damage. There's two bosses here, isn't there? Rotation, or is that the same boss? I mean, magic's still not immune to physical. Oh, and then her weapon, right? Her weapon breaks uh, every. Weapon breaks so quick. Weapon breaks so quick. It's just because you're constantly attacking people. What you need? So you're gonna have to come here and repair your weapon. Repair your weapon like all the time. Her shields, maybe a Dario drop something. We don't need those boots right now. A flawless amethyst on it. I want a flawless sapphire. Oh, so if we summon the pop up, give him a chant. Destroy the shaman. And here's an army. Why do you do that? 
to lower her assistance. So she's just going to wreck you, right? She's. <laughs> oh, this is like 25 percent oh, We don't have a portal here. So the blows on would be like running in circles around that uh one one poison pit there. We'd be luring around the circle, trying to survive. So we did it. I can't carry it. So we can't not carry any of these. So we got what? Bastard Sword, Euron, Bright Rune, Sapphires, Claws, Parasite. This maiden shall inflict no more anguish. So we'll just try to pick up that last item. And then we're good to go. Oh, so if we run through here. Oh, talk to our uh, go east and then leave the game well that bucket we don't know we've never been able to well we haven't uh, tried running on Dario but there's act one how difficulty done now you're level 71 <clears throat> so that's pretty good hopefully she got bugged or something so now all we have to do is go save Decker Kane so we go to the Estonia field. Oh, we'd have to try to track down that place again. So we can run through. I won't worry about uh, killing everything. So we can like farm any of the areas and as we're going through the guys will give you experience. The guys will level you up. Fallen camps uh, just give you so many items though. There's just so many enemies. <laughs> That's right, it was by the cave. <clears throat> the Karen Stones were right beside the cave here. It's like also on the map, it's like a post -load. Than uh, Griswold. Griswold's like a higher level than a whole bunch of people. He's above level 80. Like we we're talking about. So, Deckard Kane has been saved. Isn't it like uh, if you die, then she's not bugged anymore? I think I read something about that. So, it's not good that we died. Whatever, we'll figure it out. We can uh, make new characters if there is a way to bug on Dariel. We'll figure it out. But if we go uh, back, east, then we're in Act 2. So, we didn't quite uh, get to defeat Chris Old. He defeated us. And it looks like in this mod, if you die, you're, you don't have to go claim your body. You just start with your body. That seems super you. sick. So there's Act 1 Hell. Wasn't too difficult. We didn't record too much of it. We just uh, burned through it as we were rendering the video. And then pretty much uh, got to this point. So if we go trade with you, you will repair our weapon. Repair. And then we can pretty much just throw things in the bank. We got to uh, organize the bank again. We're always throwing things here. We got the spider bow. We got the war staff. The Spedian, The face guard. That should be the Amazon set. Like those jewel coat. Harp. Cards level 30. We're looking for the level 45 Amazon set though. So all these items, right? I think uh, Kane identified Hello. everything. Yep. If we go here, I guess there's more stuff in the paint. War scythe. So it is level 76. So it would be better than the other things we were usually farming. 
Let's just have Rage of Alcohol 172, and then we just got a rune, and then a gem. Let's just throw all these in here, because now we're getting a lot of uh, flawless gems. Now you're getting a lot of flawless gems as drops, so you don't have to deal with getting regular gems. What else is there in here? That's pretty much it. Throw those in there. And then all of your things you throw into your multi stalker, right? All of your hearts. And then we do got a higher level scrolls. We do got higher level scrolls. Generally those would be better than the other ones. So I'm just seeing another see another crafting material here. And these rejuvenation potions, you could store them. They're used for crafting. Or for storing if you just want to store a whole bunch of them. So we also found this rune. We found the soul rune. So that's a pretty high tier of rune. I think uh, purple was the highest tier. We go to page one, we got some level 60 scrolls. Now we're getting level 69 scrolls, 75, 75. So these will just contain higher recipes most of the time. Well, I mean, like, the lower-leveled ones from normal difficulty, depending where you are, they could roll, like, uh, 1, 2, 6, and then after a certain monster level, they'd be, like, 1, 2, 9 or something, or maybe 1 to 12. And then they just keep going up, so by the time normal, you could get uh, certain certain recipes by doing that, but to get the end-game recipes, you'd have to be in the end-game of this act. These things are just, like, uh, re-rolling targets or something. Oh, we should uh, end the clip. We're probably just going through the inventory and clearing things up. So maybe we'll do Act 2. Maybe we'll do Act 2. Oh, but here's the Amazon. Your character's level 72 now. Here's your stats. So you're looking alright. Alright. So now, might as well just go through Act 2. Might as well just go through Act 2. We could go to the sewers to feed Radovant. But most of the things will be resist that you won't be able to steal anything. Most of the things will be undead. Well the it's only the skeletons. It's only the skeletons that are a problem. So you go through here and chant your people. And if you were playing hardcore, you'd probably probably do a lot more preparation than this. I guess that's the interesting thing about hardcore. It's like you can't just run through the game, you have to make sure your character can live. Though it's not too difficult. All you have to do is spend some more time forging your gear and then farming farming cows a whole bunch to just get a whole bunch better items than a normal difficulty items. But if it allows us to just run through without a losing character, so those are immune to physical, so you won't be able to steal or do anything to those things. Those swarms. We will be able to later, right? Your damage will be high enough from your physical reduction. So do we do we kill them? Just our weapon is so terrible. <laughs> but it works. We'll just try to kill the attack. We'll just add to lower their resistance. Yeah, there's a whole lot of experience. You can see your experience just shooting up from killing them guys. That's pretty good. Maybe kill guys every once in a while. I think those guys are immune. No. They're not immune to physical. We killed him pretty quick. I wonder if it's right over here. Or this would just be a pathway that leads to another direction. Oh, there it is. We've seen it. Right over here. And then you're always going to be amplified damage in hell difficulty. Pretty much uh, everything's going to be cursed. So then your damage reduction will always be negative 52%. Same as that, the enemies are doing 52% more damage. So you need... A lot more damage reduction. So people hit you like this. I think in a hardcore you like go to town, right? You go to town, get rid of the amplified damage. I don't think it was like a ran out of use because you always amplify damage anyway. So maybe we'll just put a portal here just in case we get killed. Jeez. <laughs> it's like we were talking about. Let's put a portal in case we get killed. And then we get killed. In hardcore, we could have never done that. I wonder if 
he's behind that door. We have to get behind that door. Oh, I can take these guys out. Go get the other piece. So we are a poison. I guess the beetles are supposed to be crazy experience, aren't they? Or is that only on normal difficulty? Steal anything because uh, hell, you get reduced life steal, reduced life everything, reduced mana steal. I think it's reduced by like 50%, isn't it? Hmm. Or is it reduced by I think a good benchmark would be to reach, like, if we reach the bloody foothills, if we can manage to defeat Diablo, then we could just, uh, farm bloody foothills for a bit. So that'd be a good easy hell difficulty to get, right? So, so portal shrine. So all the enemies are always, uh, distracted by the barbarians on the field. I guess killing guys on the field would hurt. It just takes a lot of time. Up here. <clears throat> or, no, no, that'd be a dead end, probably. It probably is right up here. We do have to go repair our weapon. Ah, oh, you repair. So we're just looking for the temple. Here it is. So now we just have to successfully make it through here. No, it's always so ridiculous on the post. I'm pretty sure we just about died here. <laughs> See, it wasn't too bad. So we have the full staff. Uh, 
so now we just have to assemble the staff and then act two is basically done so we're only at uh, eight minutes act two is so quick act one was pretty quick too i guess yeah to talk to drogman go to the arcane sanctuary hope that we get the right direction this time so we just go down here <clears throat> Ability, wrong ability, whirlwind. Whirlwind out of there. Jeez, out of there. You're stuck. <laughs> you are stuck. So you just go through a health potion so quick. Of this uh, amplified damage and buy some potions. Should go to you, you will sell us potions. Lessons to you. And you will repair our weapons. Because our weapons are probably getting pretty close to broken again already. If we go through the, this place, we could, uh, would be any of these four directions. We could get it right away, or we could have to run in all four directions again. <clears throat> run through. Like uh, any of the Magi runs and Tomb runs might be pretty good. I we think uh, Bloody Foothills might be better. Let's just work our way down to this world. So this Whirlwind is a really good ability because it allows you to just uh, move through everybody. It's the portal. <laughs> Couldn't get into the portal. Portal's been Oh, here we go. Here's our chance. No. Oh, wait a minute. Teleport. That's right. We have teleport charges. We always forget about teleport charges because we never use them. This would be a really, really handy place to actually use teleport. So we chose the wrong direction. we go if we got a teleport we just have such a low cast speed and it's uh charges so if we repair it then it'll repair the charges on it we always forget about that just because we never we never really use teleport but we do have it on the hot bar Oh, we actually took the center path. Whoops. I was like, did we find the place? And then it started expanding even more. I was like, this has never happened before at the corner, but we weren't at the end. We weren't at the end yet. <laughs> oh. Read the book. So it's our army into physical, so you won't be able to do anything. So then, now we just need to find the tomb. The star. Is that this one? So we're level right now, 73. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. What's that? It's just one of those mana birds, get you. So maybe we could kill this room here. That'd be something to do, and then it'll give us a little bit of experience when we're in this house. Uh, also, do that a lot. Is right over here. Oh, dead end. So it must be all the way down here then. We took all of the wrong directions. Watch out for the fanaticism. Those guys will destroy you in no time. Dead end. So this is Talrash's tomb. All right, so we're literally just looking for the end then. Could be over here. This didn't lead directly to a dead end this time. It's this lightning. Oh, even more. I wonder if this is a dead end. Now. No, this is the way. So we found the way to Duriel's chamber. Out of there. <laughs> Over there. Uh, so, what are we going to town for? We don't have to go to town for anything. There's no reason to go to town. We just set up. Whoa, we need to repair. That's right, our weapon. Our weapon breaks every every like three minutes. <laughs> Imagine it would uh, break less if we kill the enemies in one hit. We go through here. We go here. Weapon switch. Oh, it's in the inventory. Over here. There we go. Holy jeez. <laughs> He's dead. Light, light, turbo. So we did it. We defeated Duriel. Now it's just uh, Act 3 and then Mephisto. That's not too bad. 18, 17 minutes? 17 minutes to get this far. Explore Talrash's tomb. <clears throat> and then that's it. Hello. You have Talk to Sharon. Talk to Mischief. <clears throat> so I can't believe we're doing so well in Hell Difficulty. I mean, we uh, died a couple times, but we're just using a regular pike for normal. Good 
normal pike that we gambled in Act 1. <laughs> so everything's done here. I mean, how much damage did Daryl... Okay, so are things fully repaired? I mean, Death Sword. We do have things to identify, things to bank. I've not. Let's just uh, identify them. Let's see if the War Club is any good. Chance to cast Static Field when struck. 100% better gold. Level 7 Fade. Confuse. So Fade increases all of your resistances. So now we have a belt. We have boots. We just need to find gloves. Alright. So we don't need these. Plus 3 to strength charm. Attacker takes damage of. Plus 5 to maximum damage. And then just some amulets. Oh! We could summon those things. So that's why this is so cool, because you could uh, do all those and then get all these skills from the other characters. We'll show you in a sec. So we got a uh, fade. We could just, oh, fade's on the belt, isn't it? So we can't really switch it. We can keep it in our inventory or something. 109 to 186. So I guess our weapon is better. Oh, chance to cast a frozen orb and blizzard on striking. Two chance to cast things, actually. So we were looking for something like that, that before in other characters. It is normal attack speed. And chance to cast on striking doesn't trigger from whirlwind. So we'd have to find a melee character to use that with. But if we go here. Can't use this yet. Oh, we can't use it yet. What do we need? We need strength. Six months of strength. Do we not need mana at all anymore? We've got 223 mana. Let's go tell we have 250 mana. And then what? 120 strength? Then I guess the bell gets us that. I can't use this yet. Yeah, we need to put more strength here. There we go. So if we put this belt on, then we could cast Fade. So we have a F5, F6, F7. So then we cast Fade, which would increase our resistance, right? Resist all 48%, damage reduced by 7%, reduces curse duration by 44%, 6, 12, 18 duration, just over 3 minutes. So see, if we put that on, our resistances go way up, we get more damage reduction, we can put this on, so that lasts for 3 minutes. And then we also have this amulet. So we could go here and choose Heart of the Wolverine, right? Increase your defense, damage. So this is the damage one. Because we were looking at the druid before. They have a summon that could give increase your life by 80%. Or one that could increase your damage by 68%. So we just uh, increase our damage. So we cast this here. And that'll increase our damage and attack rating. Oh, and it gives resist all. And it gives resist all as well. This one gives resist all too. <clears throat> so the druid and the assassin has some pretty cool resistance things. But now the Amazon can use them as well. We just switch this off. Then it should keep him summoned. So if we need extra life or something, you get a oak and then you could summon it, and then he would essentially increase your life by a whole bunch. Right? If we step outside, our life is what? 1180. If we go here, now it's uh 1180. Oh, maybe we already had the buff. Now we're in Act 3 of Hell Difficulty, level 73 Amazon. With a regular normal difficulty pike style. <laughs> 